We're gonna start off with a bunch of random scrap I got lying around because, well, it's just easier to use that up than it is to cut up new wood. So I got some OSB, we're gonna get this cut in half and this will give us the base to build our form for the concrete lid for the diversion box. So we're using scrap we have, which means it's not quite ideal, but I don't like wasting money on stuff. So we got our basic frame laid out here. We're gonna go ahead and get this screwed together. So we beveled this edge, which gives us our taper profile for our lid. All right, so this gives us our casted lid or what it's gonna look like. Uh, this is a lot thicker than it needs to be for a, uh, for a diversion box lid for a drain field. However, this is what I'm working with, this is what I got, and I got an 80 pound bag of concrete. So we're gonna go ahead and use this setup and pour this the way it is. I'm gonna go make a uh, handle so that it's easier to remove once it is installed. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this concrete up and get it poured in here. This is one 80 pound bag of uh, crack resistant concrete. So this comes with fiberglass mixed into it. For one bag jobs like this, where I'm doing a casting or even two or three bags to be honest, I like using the five gallon bucket method, which is basically put half the bag in one bucket, uh, put water in, pour it back and forth, add a little bit more, pour it back and forth. Okay, so before we go ahead and pour that in here, I'm gonna throw a little diesel in here. If you were doing a big job, you would wanna use form release agent, but in this case, diesel works just fine. I'm gonna splash them in there and then we'll pour the concrete in. All right, pour our first batch. board here which will hold our handle in place and provides us a screen. Now oh, let's get those out of the way. There's no reason to waste those. Okay. So I went in and formed a handle out of some scrap steel I had also. And that screen board. Hold this in place nice and evenly, although I'm checking how deep that is, and that's plenty. I'm gonna actually put it on its side, a little deeper down in there. Well, the concrete is set up enough to go ahead and pull the forms off, take a look at how it turned out. So the reason that pulled out so easily is because I threw diesel on there. Um, it's a release agent. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and let it cure. I'm gonna have 24 hours before I go install it. If I had paid the company to have to fix this problem, they would have ripped out the entire distribution box and put a new one in. That would have run me about $1,000 for their labor, for their digging costs, for the new diversion box and the plumbing that would be necessary to go along with it. You definitely can do this yourself, I'd recommend doing this if you happen to dig up your septic tank and find cracked lids or damaged lids go ahead and pour them before the pump guys even get there have them ready to go that way you won't fail a septic inspection this is why i had to cast a new one so we're missing a few parts they're probably in the dirt somewhere this old lid did have a small recess on it nothing like what i put on this one you can see the taper here this is probably an inch overall narrower than that the inner opening 
and then I have lots of overlap. This thing is 80 pounds, so it's a little awkward to get in the hole, but oh, beautiful. I got a little bit of play. So extremely happy with that. Save myself 800 bucks by doing it myself. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you got something out of this. Just know that you definitely can do this yourself. It is not difficult. Get the right concrete, the stuff with the fiber in it. I recommend installing a handle if you can. You don't have to, most of the boxes aren't made with them. And it definitely doesn't have to be as thick as this. You could do it probably an inch overall thinner. That way it's lighter and easier to install. But overall, I hope you guys got some thoughts. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.